Hello friends, welcome to this course on NX. In this lecture, we are going to start a new module in NX that is 3D modeling. So first of all, to go to the 3D modeling, we need to go to a new model. After that, we will have to go to this home tab. In this home tab, we can find certain commands to create the 3D models. And in this lecture, we will know about the first basic command that is extrude. So you can find the extrude command here into this feature. I click on this extrude and click on this extrude here. We can also find this extrude command here, menu, insert, go to design feature and there is extrude. So I click on this extrude and here in this dialog window it is showing select a section. So first of all we need to create a sketch. Now we can create the sketch in the sketch mode. So right now we had not defined any sketch. So we need to create the sketch. To create the sketch we can go to this option of sketch selection. So I click on the sketch section and now we need to select a datum plane as we already done in the sketch modeling. So let's say I want to create this extrude onto this top plane. So I select this XY plane. So select XY plane and then click OK. Now onto this plane we need to create some sketch. So I am going to create the basic sketch that is of a rectangle. So I click on this rectangle and let's say I am selecting the center rectangle and then we need to define a width and height so I click here and then click here like this. Press escape and then define some dimension to this. So let's say this dimension double click on this. So this dimension here we can define let's say this is 100 close and for the second dimension let's say this is 200. We can give any value and then press enter. Click close. Now our sketch is ready. I click finish sketch. And now by default we can see the sketch has been extruded. It means we have provided a height to the sketch. Now we can see the height is very large. So we can control the value of this height from here. Go to this limits option. First is starting distance and the end distance. So I want to select the end distance. So let's say I select this value 20 press enter. And now we can see here we have this rectangle that is highlighting in this orange color. And this rectangle has been extruded to a height of 20 and I can click OK. So here we can see we have created an extruded sketch. After that we will continue with this extrude. So I can click extrude and select here. Now we can create multiple extrude, one extrude over another extrude. So let's say I want to create one more extrude onto this. So I select select curve, click on this sketch section. And this time I want to create the sketch onto this top face. So I select this top face face of extrude 1 and click OK. So whatever sketch I will create, it will be created onto this top face. So I click on this circle, select any point here. So let's say I want to draw a circle here like this. Press escape, specify the dimension to this. So I go to rapid dimension and select this circle. And let's say its diameter is 50. 50 press enter and click close. Finish the sketch. Now give the circle a height. So let's say this value is 50 press enter. And here we can see we have created one more extrude over the existing extrude. So whenever we extrude a circle it will create a cylinder in 3D. So specify some height to this and click OK. And here we can see we have created an extruded geometry. Now once again I go to this extrude 2. We need to edit this. So make a double click on this. 
and then inside this extrude here we can see the boolean operation in this boolean it is showing unite so when i select the unite option from here both the geometries will be united into a single geometry it means these will be combined and also we can see here is an option that is limits so inside this limits we have start point and end point okay so end point is basically the height it is the total height to which we want to create the extrude for the starting point or starting distance see right now the starting distance is zero it means the distance from this sketch that is highlighting in this orange is zero so let's say i increase this value so initially i take five and press enter and let's see the difference okay let's increase this value to 10 now the distance between this extrude and in this sketch is 10 i click ok now it is showing the error so the reason why it is showing the error so i go to close from here double click on this extrude here we had selected the unite so since two geometries are not touching each other we cannot unite them so we, i can select none and click ok now we can see there is a distance of 10 so this is the starting distance we had specified so once again i go to this extrude 2 double click here and the starting point i want to select 0 and the end is 50 now what i want to do is i want to reverse the direction so i specify the direction so by default the direction of extrude is always perpendicular to the sketch okay we can see the direction is going perpendicular at the 90 degree angle with respect to the sketch so here i want to reverse the direction we can reverse the direction by double clicking on this arrow also we can select here reverse direction i click reverse direction and now the extrude is going in the downward direction now what i'm gonna do is I go to this boolean, click on this option of subtract. I click subtract here and click OK. And now we can see the material has been removed. So a hole has been created. So by using this extrude option, we can also remove the material. We can cut a part from any existing part. So in this way, we can use this extrude command.